So I thought I'd do a uh, short little video on um, soldering a stainless steel Bowden cable, a nickel onto a stainless steel Bowden cable because this can be quite tricky. Um, the secret of soldering nipples onto stainless steel Bowden cable is that you've got to use the right flux. Um, so this is the uh, this is the flux I use here. Okay, S26 flux. It's quite a vicious flux, can cause burns, so you need to be careful with it. You can see the uh, hazard warning label on there. Um, so, and it's quite expensive flux. I think this uh, this bottle of flux costs about 30 quid or something like that. So, uh, but you need it. You can't. The, uh, the uh, you need this sort of flux for soldering stainless steel. Um, so there we are. There's the there's the cable, and I've already splayed the um, end of the cable. I've cut it and splayed it. So unfortunately. Of course, it won't focus on this. Maybe if I put my hand behind, not helping, no. But I've splayed the end of the cable and I'm just going to slide the nipple up there into position. This particular nipple I'm using is one I've modified, it's actually a, um, a, a nip down nipple with a grub screw. Uh, but I'm going to solder it on. So I've splayed the end and there's the nipple on the end of the cable. Now this photo illustrates how the cable end has been spread to fill the uh, back of the nipple aperture and once this is filled with solder it will make a very strong joint um, and preventing the cable from pulling out from the back of the nipple. That's what you should be aiming for. Uh, and I'm just going to dip that in this flux here. So I'm just going to dip that in the flux and leave it just to soak for a couple of minutes. Um, that's the solder I'm going to use. Uh, it's old fashioned lead, tin lead plumber's solder. Yeah, I don't think you can get this anymore. I've got one more stick of it left. It was my grandfather's and he died before I was born in 1948, handed down to me by my father. Um, so uh, it's pretty old stuff. Um, so what I've made up, this is my little soldering pot. You can see some solder already in there. In the end, I'm going to heat that up till it's melted. And then I'm going to dip the um, solder wire and the nipple into the pot. And hopefully it will all solder together. I'm just going to warm this up with a torch, it doesn't have to be an acetylene torch, I'm just using an acetylene torch because it's convenient, you can use an ordinary blow torch to do that, um, and we'll heat that up. Until the solder melts. Hi. 
Hello. You can see the solder there. Hope you can see the solder there starting to melt. Let's just bring that in a bit. So the solder's melted. So we'll fish that out. And we're just going to dip that in the solder pot. There we go, hopefully that's taken. You can see, I hope, There you go, you can see there's the solder, the solder on nipple. Let that cool down. So that, that once you use that that um, special acid flux, phosphoric acid flux I think it is. As I say, it's pretty vicious stuff. Um, we'll work a treat. Pretty difficult to get um, to get it to solder if you don't use that special flux. But that's on there. It's on there. I'll just dress that up, rub that bit of that blob of solder off there, and that will be that will work fine. Okay. See you next time.